and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the best way to build a no money spent team in Madden at this point in Madden. Now, guys, I know no money spent is super popular. It's kind of sad that we're at a point <clears throat> with a certain game where we have to refer to a whole side of the community as no money spent because the game is just so majority of, like, the game is the majority of money spent. So, we have to, like, create a side cult called no money spent. It's probably funny how we have to do that. But it is what it is. I know no money spent still strong this year. I tried my hardest, guys. But it, I'm doing YouTube, and it's really hard to not do it. Now, I really haven't opened bundles. I opened up the 199 MVP bundle because I, I just seemed like a good idea for me as a content creator to have a 99 MVP when the time came. So I'm sorry for that. No money, gang. No, no money spent, gang. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hopefully, you guys will let me back in someday. But with the way YouTube is looking, I think I'm gonna have to start opening packs come Madden 21 anyway. So, guys, I think you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to elect the no money spent leader. But it's all good. Now, as far as building a no money spent team right now, this is big for all the Christmas noobs, all the new Christmas guys that just came in, have 80 overall teams trying to compete online. Guys, it is not as easy to make a no money spent right now as it was maybe three months ago when we were getting house rolls every week and all these free players. Although those players wouldn't help us now, it definitely was big for like when we first started, no money spent was going strong and the solos were a lot better too, but hopefully I think things will pick up. Now guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys, come join the family. We're grinding for 20k by, by the end of February, so we gotta keep going. I am leaving to Spain for this whole week, so you guys, when you're seeing this video, I'm probably in another country, like, doing something over there. So, hopefully you guys show support while I'm gone, trying to get as many pre-recorded videos as I can for you guys out. But, make sure to comment down below if you need any help with this. No money spent, gang. No to gang. Go strong. Like the video. Can we get 300 likes this video? That'd be greatly appreciated, boys. Let's keep the channel growing. Let's keep growing our community. Now, let's head into the video. So, no money spent right now. No money spent is at a great state in terms of the team you can build, but it's not in the greatest state in terms of free cards you can get. So remember back in August, September, October, we were getting free players every week. That's not the case anymore. Madden was like, well, hold up, hold up. Pack, pack, packs are down right now. People are getting too many free players. It's got to be the only answer. Now, as far as how many spent goes, guys, what's still available for all you new guys to really build upon right now, you can still go ahead and get a free 0 chill 89 to like 90 overall player. You can still go ahead and get a free 89 NFL playoff player. You can get the playoff prediction coins. You can go ahead and get your free gauntlet player. You can go get some team of the week players. You can get a free mud hero card if you haven't done that yet. Some legend power-ups. You can still get the NFL 100, I believe. NFL 100, free 95 overall. That's really good. The free 90 overall mud superstar. The free theme diamond, I believe. As well as the free first gauntlet player. And the journey Michael Thomas. So you can probably get a solid like 10 to 15 free players between 85 to 95 overall. That is really solid right there. So no money spent can easily start pretty strong. With the right amount of grinding, of course. Now, after that, what, what's coming forward for a no money spent team to really do right at this point in Madden? So, team of the year is dropping in approximately, I'd have to guess, like five to six days, sometime between then. So if it's dropping in about five to six days, remember that with it dropping, we do get one free team of the year player. So for all you know money spent guys, you are in, incoming is going to be a probably 95, free 95 to 97 overall. It all depends on your luck. Like obviously, like in years past, it's been fantasy packs. So you do the challenge, you get a fantasy pack, and then pretty much you get like three choices. So it'll be like, Ty like last year, I remember mine was Tyreek Hill, Miles Garrett, Drew Brees. I took, that's who Tyreek Hill, because Tyreek Hill went for a million coins. Now, that was just the team of the year token one. Like, oh, yeah, oh, no money spent. If you saved up all your team of the year, uh, team of the week tokens, you are going to get two free actions. You get one free for the team of the year tokens and then one free for the team of the year solos. But if you saved up all those tokens from week one through week 17 of team of the week, you are good to go with that. And that one's usually auctionable. The one from the solos is usually Nat, which I think for the Nat one, I got Tyreek Kill again. I got Tyreek Kill twice. So then I just sold my million coin Tyreek Kill and then kept the other one. But pretty much you are going to be getting a free team of the year player. With the Super Bowl promo, you're going to be getting a free Super Bowl legend like we did last year. And. With NFL Honors, you get nothing. That's the only thing that sucks. NFL Honors literally doesn't offer us anything for no money spent. Playoffs didn't really offer much either. But like I said, no money spent. Oh, and quick, quick advice, guys. For no money spent players, this is the best thing to be doing in Madden right now. Like, literally the best thing. I've been preaching this to everyone. Best thing to do in Madden right now for no money spent players is do all of the sets. Do the AFC and NFC set. I'm telling you, no money spent players, for the small price of about like 600K, you could end up with six 95 overalls. Or just do one. Small price of like 350K. No money spent players have to be taking advantage of these sets. I can't stress these enough. If you guys know, like, I've done too many videos on these sets to not to keep talking about it, but you pretty much do the set, you get back three players overall from any three players here, and then you just sell the master. I have a whole method on my channel, go check it out. But no money spent, you have to be doing those. I mean, you can still do the Harvest set, although it's not as useful as it once was. You can still like do the Michael Irvin set. You can still do some of them back. 
but I really don't really, I don't, I wouldn't say I really recommend these anymore because they're only 92 overalls. I think if I were you, I would just stick to, I'd probably stick to for right now, just the NFL playoffs set. And maybe the Zero Chill Ghost of Madden set. The Ghost of Madden set was solid. If I had to pick, I'd say Ghost of Madden, Patrick Willis is solid. Ghost of Madden, Julio Jones is solid. Ghost of Madden past Michael Vick is probably the best one in my opinion where you get Bo, Strand, and Mel Blunt. Like for, again, 300K, like a small price to pay. 400K, you end up with three of the most overpowered cards in Madden right now. No money spent, guys. You gotta be hopping on that if you're not taking advantage of that. Now, remember, no money spent. If you guys are really grinding right now and you're trying to build a good squad, remember that the auction house right now is your best friend. Things are super cheap. Wait till team of the year drops though. Once team of the year does end up dropping, you guys are gonna be able to take advantage of a very good selection of cheap cards. Now, guys, I feel like low budget, no money spent, guys. This is the best quarterback to get. I've been telling you guys this for months now. And everyone says he doesn't get something. I'm going to explain to you guys, for all you guys who think that Steve Young doesn't get Dash and Deadeye, you have to power him up. I don't know why no one, no one knows that. I've, I've made that pretty clear in some videos that you have to power him up. Most cards need to be powered up to get things. Guys, wait when Team of the Year drops and Legends and stuff drop. This card should come down to about like 75k. Pick him up. He's going to be your best friend on a no money spent team. If your team is like low, low. If you're like a low, no money spent. Powered up and camped up, he's going to have all 90 passing. As well as Dash and Deadeye and Escape Bar. It's going to be the best quarterback for a budgety, no money spent team. But that's just like my best. I think that's just like some really good advice right there. Take advantage of that Steve Young. He's a great value. And just in general, there's plenty of cheap things for no money spent teams to take advantage of right now. There's way too many things for no money spent teams to take advantage of right now. Even the 94 to 95 is like, think about it. If they're this cheap, right? 190. No money spent teams. If you don't want to get Steve Young and you have a little more points, like if you're a mid no money spent team, get Patrick Mahomes. Again, he gets Escape Artist and he gets Dash and Deadeye. Again, another solid, solid card. Todd Gurley. I don't really like Todd Gurley, but Teron Armstead, Jason Kelsey. I see Barry Sanders right there. No money spent. The beauty of what you guys do, you guys do more with less right so a guy with, with millions of coins they buy the best card no matter what now the difference between the best card the million coin card and the difference between the card that's 200k like this a slight difference that difference does give them an advantage but for no money spent you want to always it doesn't matter about the name right if they drop Teron Teron Bargley the, the the quarterback that no one no one cares for but stats are really good and they drop Lamar Jackson obviously Lamar Jackson's better but just because of his name right maybe Teron Bargley is really good whoever the hell that is but you guys get the point Patrick Mahomes is really, really good, but everyone wants Michael Vick or the new Lamar. And Patrick Mahomes is being held down by his Ghost of Madden present value. So take advantage, scoop him up, get a really good quarterback out of him. Barry Sanders being held down by the new running back. Still a great running back despite everything. There's so many good things to do. Drew Brees is an awesome quarterback. He's not mobile, but he's still a great quarterback. There's lots of things that nobody spent to take advantage of. You guys can't get cute with it, right? You can't get cute. If you get, if you get cute with who you want to choose, that's when you spend coins, right? Oh. I have Bo Jackson. They just released a new runner, Saquon Barkley, which is better, let's just say. Now, I, do I drop Bo Jackson? Probably not. That's a waste of coins. You can't get cute. You got to be efficient. Stay strong. Remember, you are getting a free team of the year player, and then you're going to be getting... Maybe they'll give us a house rules for a free team of the year player. That'd be really cool. Maybe not. I doubt they'll do it, but if they do do it, I'd be really excited about that. Now, no money spent. Biggest advice I can give you guys, do not, and I mean do not open packs, please. Do not open packs. That is the biggest waste of coins you guys can ever do is open packs. It's just not worth it. Opening packs straight up just waste so many coins. You can go through three weeks worth of saved coins in about five minutes of opening packs and probably get a return of about 30%. Do not do it. Packs are never worth it. The only packs that I thought were worth it was maybe the bundle for the 99 overall MVP. That's a good video for me. That is a good content. That's some good content for me. And that's some, that was some really good packs. I'm not going to lie. I made some really good value off those packs. So it really wasn't that bad. I can't recommend you guys do it, but it really wasn't that bad. Oh, and as well as, though, make sure you're playing your player predictor solos. It gives you guys free training, so make sure you're getting that done. Again, you want to be efficient with as much as you can be while you still can be. I hope this helps you guys out. No money spent. Things should get easier, right? Right now, we're going through a spot where Madden's just rolling in the dough right now, so they really don't want to give up too much free stuff. But as we get closer to, like, March and stuff, and the game starts coming down a little bit, they will start giving us some free Ultimate Legends. They will start giving us some more, a lot more house. Like, last year, they were going crazy with house rules. They were just tossing free players left and right. But that was towards the end. Like we got the free, the free tribute Gronkowski, which sadly I wasn't even, I wasn't even in the in the state when that happened. I was on vacation also. But hopefully they start doing stuff like that. So remember, there's still hope. If you just started though, you're probably not even burnt out of Madden yet, so you're gonna probably be going long. If you just started now, you're probably playing to like April, May, anyways. So that should be perfect for you guys. Hope that does help you guys. If you guys are new to the channel. Make sure to go head on down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's, we're trying to get to 20k by the end of February. I think we could do it. You guys just got to keep going strong. We're at about 17.2. Let's keep it going. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure to comment down below. Ask for any help if you need it. 
The community is always there. I'm always there. Use Twitter if you need to. And make sure to like this video. Can we get 350 likes on this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. Remember, likes help the channel out. The reason we've been growing so much is because of all the likes you guys do and all the views and everything. So keep it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.